Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. So this is the second time I'm trying to do this voiceover. I just did this entire video and then at the very end I wasn't ready for it to end and it cut me off. And I don't know how to just edit the last little section. So I am doing it over. <laughs> okay, so I am making this flipbook for a swap that I am currently doing. We were just swapping loaded bags and this is for Miss Evely. I will link her information below. She's not seen this yet, but we're about to go to Canada and I didn't want to not be able, I really wanted to share this with you guys before I left. So I am sharing it. I asked her first and I asked her if she was going to be tempted to look because I don't want her to see it until I sent it to her. And she said that she doesn't like to wreck surprises. So I can post it and she'll resist until she receives it. So I was super excited. So that way I could share it with you guys before I left. This is, I'm using Maggie Holmes Flourish Collection. It was pretty hard for me to use this collection. So before it goes out of frame, the left ribbon or the gold vine is actually from Hobby Lobby. This collection does have, Maggie Holmes had her own that came with this collection, but I didn't get it. And I wanted some and I needed it for this project. So I went to Hobby Lobby and picked this up. So it's awesome. I don't know if I can compare it to the other one because I've never seen the other one, but I love this one. It looks really cute with this collection and it works really well. So, oh, where was I before then? Okay, so this is, uh, like I said, the Maggie Holmes Flourish, Flourish collection. And it was pretty hard for me to use this collection. It's gorgeous. However, it's a lot darker than I usually craft with. I'm, I usually craft with pastels and pinks. And this was the green. The green was tricky. And I love yellow, but I can never make a yellow work. I, I don't know. I never, I don't know. But yellow always gives me a hard time. But this collection has so much yellow in it that it, it didn't, I didn't even think about it when I was using it. I just picked stuff up that matched it. And I ended up using a few things that were yellow. So it was pretty cool. But I hot glue this down. I did one by one. I I'm I wasn't sure if if it was gonna hold, so I just wanted to make sure I put a little bit on each one. And that last little leaf I cut off, and I actually end up using. But it's funny because I didn't intend on saving it. It just kind of stayed floating around on the table, and I end up using it later on in the book. So I thought it needed one more little viney gold goldy thingy mabobber. So I put another row on. And later in the video, which I don't show you, but I, I will have it posted in my Instagram eventually after Miss Evelyn receives it, is uh, on the binding. So on the left side, this is a really cool way to bind. This is not my idea. I watched a video. I will link it uh, by Lori Nunemaker. I think it's Lori Nunemaker. She showed us, I think she her video is called like a new flipbook binding but I will link it and it's super cool because it makes it really sturdy, almost like a proper book. Uh, and I love it and you can use any kind of paper. I used embossed craft, is it craft paper? The, the brown paper, it has like a, a floral embossing over the page that it came that way. And you can use any paper there, any kind of cardstock. So, and I really love it, but when you use it, you have to accordion fold it and when you look on the side of the book, the binding looks like you glued a whole bunch of pieces together. You can see all the like dips, like in and out, in and out, in and out. So I covered it up with a, a little feather um, boa piece that I use in my projects. It's actually a piece like this that I'm about to use for the feathers right there. It's the same one, I cut it and I hot glued it. I had to be careful because if I stuffed it too much, Right now, this book opens perfectly and it lays really flat. And I knew if I added something to the binding, it wasn't going to be able to do that. Uh, but I, I wanted to hide the binding. So I don't know if I will hide the binding next time because I like the way it lays so flat on the table when you open it. But I like the way that the feather turned out for this one. And like I said, I'll post pictures once she receives it if you want to check out what, I, what I'm um, talking about. But here's my little crane or stalk or... Whatever type of bird this is, I'm not sure. Iris? Is, uh, is the iris? Or iris? Or bird? I can't. Every time I do these videos and I say this all the time, I feel like I know I don't know anything because I like can't talk all of a sudden like I'm in front of a million people and I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about any longer. So I'm sure you know what I'm talking about and you might laugh at me, but it's a bird. I'm just going to call it a bird. And all so far, everything that I'm using is from the Maggie Holmes 
Flourish collection. Uh, when I when I use the hot glue to glue this lovely down, I put it too high, so I have to peel it off and use it again. But I I was having a, not a hard time. I I don't want to say I was having a hard time. I was having a lot of fun with this, but it was tricky because, like I said, I'm not used to using these colors, and I frequently flip back and forth. I guess it's my way of just feeling what I'm working on. I don't. I kind of look and go back and forth and flip and and go through it every every time I almost finished one of the pages, I think I flip back to see the other pages. And plus, I just like to touch it and feel it and see how it's turning out. Um, I do, after this video, go back in and add a few other little things, but nothing major. That You're seeing the bulk of it now. It's hard. It's like, you know, you always look at something and think it's missing or it needs one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. So once I stopped, I was like, oh, this should have this there. So I do go back in. I think this sticker says beautiful day. All of them, that is all, all of it, all of it is from the Flourish collection except for the ribbon. Now this page, I really liked, I saw, I know before I was changing it around, but I really liked the way the swans worked. So I stuck with the swans. I like the way that it brings out the pink on the page to the left. I like the way it brings out the pink on the page it's on. So I stuck with the swans and the I love you little square tag, I'm about to put some gold stitching around. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm on the sewing machine. My sewing machine is right to the left. And I just like the way it adds texture. You know, it's such a minor detail, but I, I feel like if when you, when you're, it's hard to tell in here, but when you're holding it in your hands, all those little bitty details add up and, and it makes the whole page come together. So I don't put it on this one. I just wanted to put it on the back layer and I didn't want to cover up the I love you. So I was very careful with the corner of the swan paper to make sure I didn't cover up the I love you which is surprising because usually I plan it that way and then when I go to stick it down I forget that I specifically planned it a certain way and then I cover it up and I wreck it and I have to change my whole plan um so this time I remembered so here's some thread I just put a little bit of messy thread on there a little piece of hot glue I glued it down I don't think oh no I used the uh oh here we go I used the uh, mounting tape. Woohoo! I think I got it on the first try. Um, I never remember the name of this tape. I, you guys are probably like, okay, Shara, you've said that every time you've done a video. Stop saying that. I can't help it. I don't know why, but this time I remembered. What? what? I remembered. Uh, so my little glue gun here is so old, and I think I need a new one, but it works, so I use it. These little flat back pearls, they're, they sometimes, when you peel it off, the little sticky thing stays, but other times when you peel it off, it doesn't stay, and it sticks onto the plastic. So I'm using my hot glue gun. I probably should have used my hot glue gun on all of them because I don't know how well they're going to stick, but since it's a flip book and it's going to be shut together or closed tight, I'm hoping that it'll just hold in or hold them in place and they won't fall off. So I can't remember what these say. Maybe today is beautiful or you are beautiful. Uh, this page, these two pages, I had so much fun with this left page. I love the way the right and the left look. The right is a whole bunch of little houses, and the left looks like wallpaper to me. It, I, I don't, I'm, I can't be the only one that thinks that, but it totally looked like wallpaper. So I'm like, okay, those two pages have to go next to each other. And this little house, I love this little house, and I love the little fence. The fence is from Michael's from a grab bag. Last year, I've had it forever, and when I got it in the grab bag, I was like, what am I going to do with this little fence? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I kept it. Um, I couldn't figure out if I wanted the fence to go in front of the house or behind the house. So I changed it so many times, and even when I start gluing the stuff down, I think I even almost change it again. But I, I like, I end up, I end up with it in front of the fence. Because I figured the front of the, uh, people have fences in their front yards and backyards. It doesn't have to be only in the front yard. So, and that way it's not covering up the super cute little house. It was covering, covering up too much detail. So I put that pick the uh, chipboard sticker there, which I think looks perfect. It looks like a photo on the wall. It, th that, it's like this collection was meant to go together. <laughs> they, those two pieces go together to me so well. So now I just add a few layers of uh, flowers in the background just to jazz up my, I guess just to give it a little bit more depth and, and texture. That little piece, see that little gold leaf? That was from the trim on the front of the page. I didn't intend on saving it for anything, but like I said, it was just kind of floating around there. So I used it. And then I realized I put the fence on upside down, 
we can't have that. So I peeled it off. And this is where I, I put the house behind the fence again. And then I finally make the decision to stick with what I thought looked best. And it's having the house in front of the fence. I even asked my husband and he's like, uh, <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll put it here. So here I am using my mounting tape again, foam tape, awesome tape of awesomeness. And once I put the house on here, I felt like it still needed something. I was just going to leave it like that, but it looked like it needed a little bit more. See, I already stuck that down. I even pushed it back because I'm like, I can't get it off. It's going to rip the page. But then I was like, nah, tap, 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 tap. No, I need to do something else. So I took a few little, I think that was a die cut and this is a sticker. And I just stuck it back there and then I added a flower on top and bam, it worked. I loved it. But before I put those on there, it looked fine, but it just needed a little something. I don't know. And this is my little fluffy feather spool that I rip apart and use all the time. And then when I rip it apart, it leaves little fluffy feathers all over my house. And I have to go around swiffering like a mad woman because they're fluffing everywhere and it drives me crazy. But I love it. So I use it all the time and I'm constantly cleaning up the fluff, the fluff, fluffleness. I come back to this page because I was unsure what I wanted to do. So I, I flip back and forth. This is really me trying to think, okay, what do I want to do now? You know when you finish a page and you're like, ah, and then you flip, you're like, oh, I got another one. And you have to think all over again and get creative all over again. And I, I was struggling. I was struggling with this one. I never, I never know. When I see other people cover up their shaker with a tool, I love it. But then when I try to cover it up, I'm like, man, not so much. So I left it alone. I figured it was a really cute image the shaker and the sequence are beautiful she can cut the shaker part off and reuse the sequence if she wants these are part of my sequence from craft right uh, in the beginning of the video i showed you my storage box actually craft purge tony showed me her storage box and then i got them they're from harbor freight they're super cheap my only complaint is or complaint is that the sequence when you, not the sequence, but the other like glitter, the the uh, hexagon like glitter stuff, it goes into the cracks. So when you open it, it opens and spills all over your table. So it kind of drives me insane. Now I put a little piece of paper down, I open it. So when it spills on the paper, I can pick my paper up and just slide it back into the little container. But it's great because it's super cheap and they come with so many little compartments. But the little compartments when you're using the smaller glitter is they're a nightmare. So I would not recommend putting regular glitter in there because I can only imagine how messy it would be when you open them. But, uh, and the sequins, are, most of my sequins are from Cartwright, Cartwright Sequins. I bought some a few weeks ago and posted a little picture on my YouTube and it's so awesome. Everybody bought some. It's really cool. I have no connection to that company. They don't even know who I am or that I even exist. But... I, their customer service was great. Well, not, the shipping was great. They sh they shipped them out really quickly, and they're they're beautiful. They have such a massive variety. I really only bought a bunch of pinks, but they have so many colors. So the video is about to change in a minute because I did this video in two days. So I'm sorry about the lighting change, but it it uh, it still it's a little bit brighter, so it might work out to the better for the better. And, oh, I just wanted to let you know, everybody got mad at me for telling them about Cartwright Sequence because you guys all went and spent your moolah. But you need to take that anger out with Alice from I'm Absolutely Alice because she is the one that told me about it. And she's like, Shara, don't go on there. I'm going to send you some of mine. And I'm like, nah, just go on there and look just for fun. I'm not going to get any. Yeah, right. Okay. I spent $30 on Sequence and I want to go back and spend more money. So, yeah. So beware if you're going to go on there. Here's your disclaimer, or my disclaimer to you. Beware. It's going to get you. Um, so now I'm gluing down the little rope twine, baker's twine. I like the way it looks when they stay in place. So instead of flopping all around, I, I like it to look like the tags are kind of stuck to the page and the, and the little ropey things are stuck down there with them. And um, let me know in the comments if you guys prefer me to do a tutorial without myself talking. I don't mind. I like to watch the ones with people talking because I like laughing with them and laughing at them when they do stuff like I would do and laugh at themselves. 
Uh, and it just makes watching it a little bit better for me than just playing music. But I'm totally happy if you guys want me to do a tutorial where I say nothing and just videotape. I also like when they talk about like, oh yeah, I got those flat back pearls from, these are from a swap, but, and those scissors I got from Hobby Lobby or excuse me, Joanne. So because it lets me know, because I'm often like, oh my gosh, where did they get that from? Or where did they get that from? And when they say it in the video, I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you. But I, like I said, I'm totally happy making one without my uh, voice in the background. So just let me know if you prefer. So here's the page swap. We're almost done. This part you can do before you lay the pages down on the sewing machine or before you sew them onto the base. I sewed everything onto white cardstock. Oh no, the one on the left is like on a wood grain piece of cardstock. But this one's on white. And I didn't know I was going to do this on this page when I put the page here. So the way that I cheat that and, and, and fake it out is by putting, sticking all this together, cutting it down to the same size of the page, and then taking it through my sewing machine and putting the stitch only on the outside edges. And that makes it look like I literally, I, I sewed it onto the piece of paper, but I didn't. I actually hot glue it down. So I'm sewing it now. I wasn't going to make anything in here um, interactive, really. Like, I wasn't giving her any goodies because, because we did a, a loaded bag, but... I was like, no, it needs to have one page where stuff comes out because it's fun when you flip and you're like, oh, look, these I can reuse. So, of course, she's ha she's welcome to reuse any of this. She can rip it all off and reuse anything she wants. Um, I tend to not use any of the stuff that comes in these flip books, even the stuff that is meant to be used because it looks so cute in there. I don't want to take it apart. Uh, but these just slide right out. So hopefully she does reuse them. If she doesn't, I totally get it because like I said, I, I like to look at my books complete and I don't like to, to take this stuff out. So I'm going to glue it down now. At first I tape it down, but it pops up. So on the side, I put a little bit of hot glue down and this little truck, I, for some reason have a problem with just sticking the sticker, just like on the left, I put the sticker down, but then I had to add a few, I had to add some die cuts to the back. So same here with the, tr the truck. I take it off and I try to add, or excuse me, I add, a, I think, two stickers layered or a die cut and a sticker at the top right of the truck just because it, it adds texture to it and it just makes it, I don't know, I guess I like the layers more than just having the sticker. Not like there's already five layers to this page, but I don't know, something just bothers me when I just stick the sticker down without putting anything behind it. So a few little stickers and bam, then I'm happy. <laughs> so I actually moved to the top and I love this little truck. I have to admit that I, um, and surprisingly, this collection was kind of hard for me to use because it's quite dark. I don't know if I mentioned that. I know I mentioned that the first time I did this video, but I ordered three of the stickers or three of the cardstock stickers, three more. So I will have four total because it's, I love them. Okay, so the video is about to end. This is where I got cut off last time. I'm just adding a charm. I added a tassel. I used my crop -a dial to poke a hole only through the front, front page. Last time I did it through all the pages and then realized when you put the ring around there, you can't open it all the way. So I stick this little envelope on here. I do go back at later and add some other stuff, but here it is. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see what you guys make. Thanks.